What is going on everybody? This is Elias back with another video on AutoCAD. This is a, a video in the response of one of the questions I've got on one of my tutorial. Someone asked me how to apply a material cutaways. So that's what we're going to learn in this video. This is going to be very useful when you are modeling 3D in AutoCAD. So let's say you have the doors, you have people in the model, you have the car, trees. So you don't actually have to create all those in a 3D model. You can actually apply the material cutaway to show those images and instead of just showing the full block. Let me show you what I mean. So for that, we're going to go to Home tab and I'm going to draw a line here. So let's just draw a line on 90 degree angle and I'm going to type 2 feet and I hope I give it right value, press spacebar to finish the command. Let's check the distance actually. So type DI for the distance and I'm going to pick this point and pick this point. That's two feet. And we need to extrude that. So go to the extrude command, select that line and then extrude this to the same two feet. So this is a surface. This is not a 3D solid model. If I orbit around, you can see this is a surface. Now we are going to use this surface and show a plant and uh, yeah for that we're gonna go to visualize tab and I'm going to create a new material let's click on material browser and you will get this uh, panel here alright now we're going to create a new material I'm going to just decrease the size of it so you could see what I mean so click here and then here you have the option for new generic material I'm going to click on that which will give me this panel and now I have uh, all the options I need to create any kind of material in AutoCAD one thing to mention AutoCAD is not a very strong software to apply materials and rendering a lot of people and personally I use 3D Studio Max to apply my materials and render the final image of uh, the 3D model but let's see how we can do it in AutoCAD now in the generic we have the image option I'm going to select that which will give me this browser and I can select the image right now you can see I have few images in this browser for example if I want to make the plant here I have the image there and I have the second image so they are the same size and then the difference only is that they have the object so one image has the object the other one doesn't have an object it just has a white color in it and then the black background so black color means that it's going to get cut away let me show you how to do it first of all let's select the main image I'm going to double click on that and this will give me this panel now so in this panel we need to change few things I'm going to change the repeat to none I'm changing repeat to none for vertical and we have the scaling factor right now it's on 12 inches so we can change this to 2 feet the reason why I'm doing this in two feet because we're going to apply the material on this surface which is a two feet by two feet so we know the dimension if you don't know the dimension then you have to do material mapping but we know the dimension so I'm gonna type here sample size 24 inch 24 inch now that's what you have to do here let's close this I'm going to change the preview of this to Q so I could look at it alright so this is what we have so far now we need to apply cutaway. You see this option cutaway, cutouts. So select that, and then you need to select the image with the white color and the black background. Select that, and then same scaling factor and same repeat what you did before with the original image. So let's change this to 24 inches. Now let's close this panel and we should have our material ready to use. Let's close it and I've got the material done. Now I'm going to just click and drag and drop the material to the surface and I'm going to close this panel. And now as you can see that we can only see the plant in it. We don't see the whole surface which was a rectangle surface, right? So this is really cool if you have a lot of images uh, with a black background or uh, if you don't then you can download online or you can create your own with the help of Photoshop so this is really cool one more thing I want to show you in this tutorial is a material mapping so let's say your rectangle is gone uh, way bigger so what we do we will just scale it up so type SC I'm gonna pick this point and I'm gonna change this to 2x 
Now it changes the material as well, but sometimes if you didn't know the actual uh, scaling factor, then your image would be small. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the material mapping and select the planar. Now let's select this, press spacebar, and as you can see, it's showing you the original factor, the scaling factor, which was two feet, right? Now we have these arrows. We selected a planar here. The reason why I selected planar because the actual or model is a surface. That's a plain surface, not a box, not a cylinder, not a sway. So if you had a box which you're applying material on, you should select the box. Now I'm going to click on one of the arrow and I'm going to increase or decrease. Now as you can see that our actual model is not getting changed. It's only the material which is getting mapped. Now if I change this to this size, press spacebar to accept it. Now we're going to change the real style to shade it. And there you go. You can see that the, the surface is way bigger, but the material was only showing to this part. Let's change this to realistic again. And yep, that's what we have so far. So yeah, it is very useful when you want to show it plants, trees, uh, people in your drawing standing in a balcony or you want to show a car in it so that's really good you need to have two pictures one with the original content with the black background and the other one which is going to be the cutout image which has the white color on the object and then the black background so that was a question I was asked so yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any question let me know I will try to make all the videos with whatever the question you have regarding AutoCAD, Java, Revit or even any software. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.